go. And what do you say? How about $100? Hey, $100. Come on, come on, come on. 20 pounds, 25. Come on, sweet cheeks. 20 bucks. 25 now, 30. Come on, baby, 35. 35 and 50. We're going to get 20 pounds, 35 and 50. We're going to get 30. 50 now, 65. And 50 and 75. We're going to get 50 and 75. Sell it to you. $50, Daryl. First unit of the day. $50. Dominated. What'd you call me? Sweet cheeks? Sweet cheeks. Better watch your tone. Might not take your bid next time. Here's something really cool right here, a nice Samsung TV. I'll get about a buck and a half for that. Three times my money. That's called dominating. Look at this. Brand new set of Binox, not even out of the wrapper. That's 30 bucks right there. Cool hat. It's like written in Russian, I think. $10. Here we've got a broken thing, this. What the heck? Hmm. Very interesting. Every once in a while, I'll find something in this locker that I don't know what it is, but this is some type of vice. Because of the green and everything like that, it might be something to do with military. But it does measure increments of something. I might have to set this thing aside. Oh, wow, that's a cool box. See how it's all hand tooled and everything? Oh, yeah. If I'm right, this is a Russian hat. Real mink on it. It just does not fit. But I'm telling you right now, this is going in the get checked out pile. I'm going to go get my truck. I'm going to take my hat stuff. Denomination. This is it right here. I'm here at Louise Green's million, million Millionaire. Louise. Hello. Millionaire hat lady. What's a milliner? A milliner is a lady's hat maker. A lady's hat maker. Right. And so a men's hat day. maker is called a hatter. A hatter. So you have a nice little hat stretcher here. Huh. And uh, we use them all the time. You can see we have uh, quite a few of them. So yours is a little bit different because, as you can see, my metal one it's electric and it heats up like an iron uh-huh and we switch it on and heat it up uh -huh. and then we stretch the hat to the size of the customer but this one because you don't have a heating element in this it's not going to work like right away you would have to leave it on here overnight uh -huh. whereas this one could stretch within five minutes so Really, what do you think that this hat stretcher is worth? Well, I think it's actually a really nice design. It was made in New York. It's better for me being a milliner. A milliner. A milliner is a lady's hat maker. Right. But I think you could probably get up to 4 four fifty to the really? right buyer. Hats off to the dominatrix. So you know, Louise, since you're a milliner, Maybe you know a little bit about these. Oh, this is a stroimal. A stroimal? It is worn by a sect of Orthodox Judaism. I have no idea how much these things go for, but I could put you in contact with a Haredi man. Nice. Oh, wow, look at this. Right? I hope you didn't take it out of the box yet. You know, I don't think I did. I'm bringing my hat to Mindy Pellet to learn just a little bit more about it. Most strimals have foxtail fur, and it takes about 30 foxes to I make a strimal. There we go. Who in the heck would wear this thing? Literally, probably a million people. Wow. The origin of the strimal comes from back in the day, they made the Jews wear foxtails just to kind of in intimidate them. And the Jews decided, let's embrace it and make it into a fashion thing, something of royalty. Wow. A lot of feeling in that hat. Yes. And it's all about connecting to the past. And that's why we still wear the garb from the old country. I appreciate your history lesson and everything. But can you tell me, what is this hat worth? So I would put it at about um, 4000 $4,000 for that hat? Yeah. It is a prestigious strimal. Can you say you got to be me in, in here? Or is that? Well, it, the, the door to the Torah is closed, so. Yeah. Hear me? Yeah. 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 I 
may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!